Okay, so in this next progression, it works really well with the practice partner. So I've got Ava here with me today to help me. And we're gonna switch off between feeding and hitting. So I'm gonna first demonstrate hitting a one-handed backhand and then a two-handed backhand. And Ava, uh, for our lefty students out there, she's left-handed, so she's gonna show you a two-handed backhand from a left-handed perspective. Now the idea here is Ava's gonna toss the ball really low to me. And the idea is I've gotta hit the ball below net level, and it's the upward swing path that gets the ball over the net. So a lot of people make the mistake of opening the racket face and to, to get the, the ball up. But what you wanna do is you actually wanna start with a closed racket face, like this, and then you wanna brush up, and it's that, that, that swing path up towards contact that lifts the ball. Now, ideally, we want our strings very close to vertical, and that's going to help us give us the spin that we need. Now, a good mistake is actually getting the ball to spin into the net. And when I work with students, I always say that's a good mistake, but what you need to do is then get the racket lower and still brush up the ball to get it up and over the net. And why I like this drill, it really forces you to swing up because you have an obstacle in front of you. So I'm gonna stand in about good volleying position. It's about midway between the service line and the net. Ava's gonna to toss really low. I'm gonna do my best here to lift the ball, but also apply spin and brush up. So I start one-handed and brushing there. So I'm trying to get that sensation that I was uh, sensing there up at the net when I pushed the ball into the net. All right, I'm going to show you a common mistake I may see. Players brush it. It's, it's rotating, but it goes into the net. So remember the correction. It's got to focus on getting the racket lower, below contact, and then brush up. Let's see it from a two-handed perspective. And it's very important that that toss is really low so that I I'm forced to swing up, and I'm really trying to maximize the spin. So every you want to toss me a ball quick, I'm really trying to get the strings to work. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but I'm trying to maximize it. And the idea is if I maximize the spin, then I'm able to take spin off if I need to, right? Now we're going to switch it. Ava's going to demonstrate for us. She's left-handed. I'm going to toss the ball low to her. So Ava, you're going to start in good volleying position. So she's midway between the service line and the net. I'm going to toss these nice and low. And you can really hear the strings, how they're working there. That's it. Good. Toss it here. All right, nice and loose here. There you go, and you hear that sound. So that is the sound we're trying to, trying to copy each time, because you're really getting the strings to, to work with the ball now, all right? Okay, nice and loose here, and brushing up. That's it. Good, and you can do a combination of open stance, you can step in and do a neutral stance as well. That's it, again. Okay, we a little more string action. There you go, good. Again here. Okay, nice and loose. That's so as soon as you hear the strings, that kind of gives you the instant feedback that you're doing it correctly. And I often find if you hold down too tight on the grip, you don't get that, that the strings to work for you. So the looser you can be, okay. we're still maintaining this, uh, called the structure, this bent wrist, okay. then the, the, the better. There you go.